Yo, what's up you guys? How do you feel when you hear this? All you can possibly need or desire, listen, is already yours. It's already yours. How would you feel if that were true? I'm guessing pretty good, right? <laughs> but some of you are probably wondering, how the heck is that even possible? And well, today I'm going to help you realize this truth. You know what I'm saying? You better believe it. Let's do this. In several of Neville Goddard's books and lectures, he often talks about how creation is finished. It's finished. And because creation's finished, what you desire already exists. Every single desire you have. And not only that, all possible human situations as well. Every aspect of it. Every plot, every drama, all of it. All that ever has been and all that ever will be coexist in an infinite and eternal now. And if that's not trippy enough for some of you, guess where it all exists? Does it exist out there in some faraway dimension? Nope. The whole of creation, you guys, exists in you. It exists in you. And you might be like, what? Now, the reason why you don't see all of it is because you can only see the contents of your own consciousness. So in order to see more of it, what do you got to do? Start seeing through the eye of God, a.k.a. your imagination. Because it's through imagination that your assumptions can bring the invisible into sight. It restores full vision. That's what it means to say creation's finished. Nothing ever has to be created. Ever. It's all done. And if it's already done, then things only have to be manifested. How? Through awareness. Through awareness of what already is. Still with me? Let's keep going. Neville explains it like this. Think of the world as containing infinite number of states of consciousness that can be viewed. And think of these states as rooms or mansions in the house of God. And like the rooms of any house, they're fixed relative to one another. And think of yourself, your real self, the imaginative you, as a living, moving occupant of God's house. Now, each room contains infinite plots and dramas and situations already worked out. But here's the thing. They're not activated. Okay, They're lifeless. They're only activated, you got to get this, when human imagination enters and fuses with them. And how does that happen? Through matching. Through matching. In other words, to enter a state, you got to consent to the ideas and feelings which it represents. you got to match its beliefs, the beliefs of the state. And when that happens, folks, you fuse with it. You give it life, so to speak. You activate it. And then this union becomes your home from which you view the world and results in the projection of its plots, plans, and dramas, situations that'll conform to it. So if you were to move to another state or mansion, well then, it would require a change of beliefs. Is this making sense? All right, real time. What are you being aware of these days? Okay, What are you focusing on? Are you only being aware of the problems and needs that are in front of you, stressing out because of what you see or wish to see? Look, remember, everything, all of your desires, all of your wants exist right now. All of it's already yours. You don't got to create them and you don't got to force them to come to you. Nah, dude, you simply got to manifest them straight up. Start seeing the unseen with the eye of God, that which already exists in imagination. But don't just see it. That's not enough. Assume it. Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled where it takes on the tones of reality. Think from it. That's the game changer. And then here's what's going to happen. Neville says that if you become aware of increasing portions of that which already is, by matching your mental activity to that portion, to your desire, you activate it, you resurrect it, and give it life. You get what you believe. Yeah. All righty, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.